Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Deontay Burton, host of Changing Lives. Hey, listen, um, in the times we're going in right now, I know everybody's having a lot of major transitions in, job, in regards to job employment. So I want to give you guys five quick tips for you guys to follow just in case something, you know, God forbid, happen where you lose your job. Okay, five quick tips to, to help you guys and get through it. Okay, number one thing, if you find it out, no, the first thing is just stop and regroup. Get your thoughts together. You know, I know your mind can be all kind of places, especially if it's something that happens all of a sudden you wouldn't expect it. But just stop and regroup. Just get yourself in a position where, okay, this is what's happened. Let me just kind of stabilize myself. The second thing is make a plan. Okay, and I know it may seem very easy to say, okay, I've been doing this thing here for a certain amount of time. Now all of a sudden I need to switch gears. Um, it's going to be extremely difficult, but you got to find a way to, if it takes you, you don't want to string something out for two or three weeks where if you don't necessarily have that time to do that, try to make it as short as possible. I know it sounds a lot easier than what it is, but you got to put yourself in a position, even while you're going through it, to start getting some kind of plan together. And what I mean by plan in terms of just when you get a chance every now and then, write down the jobs, the tasks that you've been doing for the past couple of years, different skill sets that you may have, different experiences you may have things to, that you may want to do, just start jotting them down. You don't have to sit here and go on the different job boards or anything like that. But I am saying get yourself in a position where you can sit here and just kind of brainstorm some things that you've been doing and things that you want to do, okay? Make a formal plan. And as you go through it, start thinking about in terms of how you're going to go about it. And again, we talking about from initial to start getting that plan together. It may be a few weeks, you know, possibly a month, but we don't want to sit here and be kind of stuck in that limbo state too long, okay? But again, start off brainstorming things you've done, things, you know, experiences and stuff like that, things you want to do. And then from that point, start formulating on some kind of strategic way you want to go about it. You may not necessarily say, if I've been working in one industry, I want to go back in the same industry. You may be kind of looking in the industry you've been in, the ones that you kind of, you know, possibly have some experience with, you know, here and now over years you thought about. And then it may be somewhat into what you want to do. And I think from that point, kind of get some little plan together where you have your experience resume, your kind of, you know, uh, one that you, you know, have some work history with resume and the one that you've crafted out for something that you want to get into that may be new. OK, part plan number three is to implement everything. Once you got all the information together, you got that rough draft for your plan. Now it's time to start strategizing it. You're looking at you got you know a couple different kind of resumes i do recommend that i don't recommend you have a resume i recommend you have a industry or job specific resume and that may be four or five different ones uh, it's work finding work so i would advise any person to kind of have a couple different resumes depending on what they're looking for and then from that point kind of you know when you look on the different job boards or typically what you want you can maybe change a word here and there depending on what their minimum qualifications are. But again, we're looking, if you want to go back that route, the industry you've been in, if you want to do that, let's say again, some you may have experience with, some you want to do all new with. And if you're concrete on one of the three, uh, or two of the three, just stay on that path, okay? But, you know, we just want to main focus and be as structured as possible. And, this, and you know, in this time, it's kind of turbulent and everything, but we still want to try to maintain some structure. And like it was number three, just implement everything. Number four is, Make sure you pace yourself because, again, your mind's all kind of places. It's stressful and everything. You know, you're going through all these different kind of motions. So don't try to just hit it hard and everything. Then all of a sudden you come crashing back down. Pace yourself. You know, do so much each day. Do so much each week. Just chomp at it, chomp at it, chomp at it. Don't just try to hit it full throttle because you still got to get yourself mentally back used to what's going on and everything like that. Again, we we're talking about, you know, it's, you can look at it since it being trauma. You know, something that can be shockingly happen and everything, but we do want to keep ourselves in our current pace where we also looking at mental health while we're going through the process. So make sure you got a good, solid pace with yourself and how you do it. If you're going to apply to so many each day, so many over a certain period of time, you know, and everything, so many phone calls you're looking to get, how many places you want to try to visit. If you want to go do this and that, pace yourself. Don't try to knock everything out at one time. And the last thing is, and I think this is the most important, be patient, Okay. Uh, if you've been in a situation for a certain period of time and everything's changed, it's not going to be, you know, you may get lucky and things can open up for you overnight, but most of the time it won't happen like that. So I would advise you just be as patient as possible through the process, okay? Um, and I know it's, again, like everything else, it sounds like easy than what it is, 
but you just have to kind of keep stuff in perspective and everything, especially if you applying with industries that have a certain lag from the receipt of application to the point where they even call you back. You know, you have a lot of companies, um, especially like the larger Fortune 500 companies, you know, you may apply one month and not hear nothing back for two or three months. And it's just because it's going through the cycle of their different HR departments it has nothing to do with you, just how the company operates and everything. So you have to be kind of patient with the process, how you're going about everything. But uh, that was five quick tips to, you know, help you, you know, in the unfortunate event happen if you do lose your job, to kind of help you stabilize yourself, get your thoughts together, and move forward with it. Again, this is Deontay Burton, host of Change Your Lives. Make sure you go to the, the YouTube channel, subscribe to it, um, uh, Change Your Lives, where we talk about motivation, personal development, and professional development. Also, go to the Facebook page, subscribe to it. And I also remember, every Thursday at 8 p.m., you can check out our live show, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, rather. Uh, change the live host by yours truly, Deontay Burton. And listen, most importantly, just so you can stay abreast of all the information we got, we got over 200 videos. Hit that uh, blue man in the bottom right hand corner. Take care.